Hey you guys, Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your collective reading for August 2024. Uh, at the end of this reading, there will also be, uh, I'm going to pull the zodiac sign to see how they feel about you, each zodiac sign, so do stick around to the end to get the rest of those messages. Personal reading link is in the description box below if you would like to get a personal reading with me. And um, yeah, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. All right, let's take a look and see how does this person, how does your person feel about you? What messages are coming through here for you? Collective messages okay so i feel like this person so far they view you as someone who is really you you like to work things out i feel like you prefer to work things out okay when you really care about someone and i feel like they want to work things out with you your person it could be an earth sign it could be a fire sign um, your person is like, they have crush kind of feelings for you. Cupid's arrows. They're very much drawn to you. Um, they're very passionate about you. And it looks like there's something here about being schooled or learning some kind of lesson. And I feel like your person, something that they're learning either from a mentor or reading a book, um, I feel like there's this desire to understand the blueprints of your mind. They cannot read your mind. They do not understand. If they could have a blueprint to how your heart works or how your head works, because <laughs> they might be in juxtaposition, right? Isn't that the word? Of each other. Um, they're having a, I feel like they have a hard time understanding where you're coming from right you might be coming from two different places right and the way you communicate i feel like this person they're trying to learn you they're trying to learn you they don't quite they feel like an apprentice when it comes to you and your person might be someone who is not an apprentice when it comes to love when it comes to you it's like what the f is going on okay one minute uh you know you're you're I don't want to, it makes it sound like you're all over the place. And I don't really feel like you are. Uh, I don't really feel like that's your disposition, but there's something here where I do feel like this person kind of like looks at you or doesn't just fully understand the way you work, the way you do things. And they're trying to understand that, right? So I keep saying that over and over, right? So. But they're also who's willing to learn. They're willing, they're in this place where they're trying to get, like I said, some, some kind of understanding. Um, not necessarily from you, could be from you, but from others. Because I feel like this person really wants to win you over. They really do. They want to be like top star, top notch, top, top golf, <laughs> top game. They want to win you over. They want to be successful with you. And they don't know how to do that unless they get, they need some good news in regards to you, I'm just hearing. They need to hear something good. They need to understand something so they can feel like they are, they're, I feel like this person feels like they're in the dark, really. And if they, if they knew just how to get your heart going or how, if they had the key to rev your engine, <laughs> I sound like an old timer <laughs> they had the key to like rev your engine they'd be putting that key in there and like turning it in and revving your engine or pressing i guess people don't use keys in their vehicles anymore but you know what i'm talking about you get my gift yeah um this person really does love you i don't know what your sign is um so what we have here so far is fire earth and water okay so I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They want, uh, so this is a card of reunion, so you guys could be in separation, okay? Um, I just feel like they, they, they want to learn how you work. They want to understand better. They don't understand something, so they're trying to figure it out, right? 
honestly, like I just saw this and I've never seen this before on this deck. Look at this person's sleeve. They got like those reflectors on. You know when people go out at night running or riding their bike or whatever, they, they have their reflectors on their, their clothing or they wear reflective clothing. This person has like some reflective clothing in on them. So like, so they don't get hit at night, right? Cause I feel like this person is trying to like when a plane's coming in, you know, you get the lights guiding the plane in. They, this person, need, they're seeking guidance. So what's going on here, right? And as soon as, if they if they knew what to do, and once they fuck, because I feel like they're going to figure it out, they're going to be like coming in fast. I love you, I love you, I love you. There's something here that they definitely learn, that they come to understand. And I see them coming towards you, bringing passion and kindness and sincerity maybe even a flower or two yeah so the six of cups energy is uh, bringing like gifts reunions nostalgia innocence i feel like this person really does love you they really really do they just they just don't know how to love you that's what i'm hearing and they're trying to figure that out so they're either figuring it out on their own or they're trying to they're, they're talking to other people okay get the sun i mean they have very positive energy towards you and i see like they, are, they just have very positive energy in general. They keep a very good positive outlook and they're calm and they're peaceful. Okay? They're calm and they're peaceful and they prefer, I feel like, rest. This person's praying for you guys to be together here. Definitely. We have Leo energy here. We also have Gemini. They are praying. Like they lay in bed at night. I'm like, please God, please, please hear my prayers. Bring us together. Right? Again, another reconciliation card. This person's in love with you. You guys, they feel like you guys are a match. Look at this. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Please let us be together. So it's either a reconciliation or it's... Uh, a, it might not be your person yet. It could be somebody new. Okay? But I'm seeing... Look. I'm seeing like a finale. I'm seeing like fireworks here. This is like happily ever after here. And so, oh my God, here you go, too. In with the four of wands. And this person just wants, there's so much reunion. 11, 11 energy. Look, even like two fours. We have one, two, three, 11, and 11. 11, 11. Wow, okay. So there's definitely going, so I will say this. And not so much somebody new. Okay, this is somebody, there's a connection already made here. And this is a reunion situation. Six of Cups and the Four of Wands are reunion cards. Are re not so much reconciliation, but reunions. Okay, so there is a coming together and a celebratory, happily being happy together, uh, a homecoming as well. So somebody's coming home. Wait, isn't that a song? Mama, I'm coming home. I don't know who sings that. That's an old one. Okay, here we go. Now we have the the Eight of Swords. Oh. They're saying uh, someone here is working diligently not to be a victim of something. Okay, this person. They're working really hard. Oh, oh my gosh. Consistency versus self-sabotage or sabotage. This person is, yes, the consistency of the Eight of Pentacles is every day. Little bit. It's not a lot. Every day, it's one pentacle. That's like every day. It's like saving a penny for a rainy day. Saving one every day. It's not a lot. It's not overkill. It's not smothering energy. It's just giving, like, you know how you put a little, put an ice cube in your plant every day or give a little bit of water every day? It's a nourishment and it's consistency. And what happens when you are consistent with something? You have growth. Or you, you, you have results as long as you're consistent. It's not an overnight thing. And I feel like with this Eight of Swords, this person being very careful not to screw something up here is what I'm hearing. And they may have screwed stuff up before in the past. There, there may be some mental thing going on with them. Um... And I feel like, so what do I mean by that? It could be moodiness. It could be someone who just sabotages 
or they have great fears or they're very avoidant um, in some way, but there is, or they become avoidant or there's something. Uh, they're learning something. They're getting schooled on something. They could be reading self-help books or talking to people who are giving them guidance, you know. They may come to realize that they, you know, with the Eight of Swords, imprison themselves or victimize themselves or they, um, they, they put restrictions, which is sabotaging. They sabotage themselves. They sabotage relationships. I feel like they were a runner. Somebody here is a runner. Or they, they, they get nervous or they get, and yeah, I'm hearing they get nervous because of the mental negative thinking and then they run, okay? They run. But look, I feel like this is what they're, so with that eight of, of pentacles, there is an energy of making consistent daily effort, right? That's the Eight of Pentacles. Mastering something here. They're mastering something new here, okay? And that's coming from deep reflection, right? Virgo energy here, too. So that's coming from this place of self-evaluation with the Hermit. This is going in for clarity, a quest for personal truth or spiritual illumination. A renewal of the soul, even with the star there. So there is this energy of like not being afraid to like <sighs> facing the fear and looking within, right? Usually runners run because they don't want to deal with themselves. That's, that's usually, they're so afraid to look at themselves and have it be true that they're not worthy. But the brave person, not the one that comes out with the sword, the brave one, the one who truly is a master, is the one who learns to master themselves, right? Now, being human <laughs> is just being human. Everybody has their quirks, everybody has their flaws, everybody has their this, their that, their whatever, right? But to be able to, you know, take a, take a hardcore look at the self and go, where do I need to, what areas of myself do I need to master that I'm running from, right? And I feel like that's what this person is doing here, okay? Um, and you know what? Part of what they're learning is not just about you, but about themselves, okay? So I feel like there's gonna be some kind of reunion between you and this person, or some kind of coming together to be able to share some good news because there, I see a happily ever after situation here between you and, the, and whoever this person is or whoever they are to you. I definitely feel like there's this putting in the work I'm hearing, putting in the effort, putting in the hard work. Yeah. Um, there's someone here who has a lot of grief and remorse about some spilled milk or some spilled cups or an energy of loss or abandonment or feeling unloved that is definitely a catalyst for making some change and i see this person figuring it out balancing weighing things out what they need to do they they so they go from like this darkness this sadness this grief to actually stabilizing stabilizing with like practical uh, looking at something logically, but sta like, but stabilize. If you want to stabilize your emotions, um, deal with your deal with logic, okay? Because your emotions are just going to come and go. Try to. I feel like this person does have roller coaster emotions. It could be moody, or they feel like some days are up, some days are down. They're up and down. It's like, or they feel that from you, and and they are trying to like figure out what like what's going on here. Um, but they stabilize. I feel like this person, either they, either they have that issue and they're, they're figuring it out how to balance or figuring out how to work or balance that out with you. And the Knight of Swords is making that massive lifestyle change. This is not just about relocation or taking charge of um, what they need to do in their life when it comes to you. But this is more about 
making big changes on their end for themselves, which will have a direct benefit and impact to you. <clears throat> I don't feel like this person is making this change because of you. I feel like it's because of them, because they're not happy and they want to be happy. Right? Now, keep in mind that these roles could be reversed and this could be you going through this at this time or both of you. Whatever the story, it you know, it's collective. So if it fits, it fits. So I kind of feel like that this is the energy of what's happening here in August. Um, and I actually like it. I feel like it's positive. I feel like it's a positive message. So, sorry, you guys, I had to see something. Okay, let's see how they feel about you. Oh, you guys, I need a bigger table. I do not have enough room. I have so many cards, so many decks. Okay, let's see what their feelings are in regards to you, whoever is listening. Oh, okay, they give me three. Popped out fast. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I lost myself for a little while. I love you unconditionally. Okay. And I feel you leaving me behind. So I feel like this person might have let you go. Um, and then you might have went. Or vice versa. But the energy is being felt. And there's a feeling of loss. And there's also this shit. I really love. I really love this person unconditionally. And I want to tell you that. I just wish things could be different. But I feel like somebody's working on it. Um... You know, they're burying themselves in work. Um, part of it is to try to forget you because I feel like it's not to forget forget you permanently, but just to forget about you now as they try to figure out or learn what they need to figure out. But they definitely want to feel that way again, which I feel like is a, a, the positive energy, which is the sun when it comes to both of you. Okay. There's definitely an energy of wanting to be more than friends, okay? Let's take a look and see what your messages of love, and then I'm going to get into the zodiacs. Okay, so boundaries, firm boundaries are needed right now. This is a past life love. This is someone that you have had a profound connection with in the past, okay? Profound. It was profound in some way. Okay, and forgiveness. That heals everything, right? Some people don't want to forgive. Some people want to forgive so they can just... Forgiveness frees you up, you know? When you love someone, it's not hard to forgive. Doesn't mean you don't forget. You can't forget because if you forget, then you repeat the same mistakes going forward. Learn from them. But I feel like forgiveness is... Forgiveness just kills you. It does it Because then you're holding a grudge and that eats away. And if you just got to, you know, let it go, right? Forgive. Just it's done. Whatever. Don't hold on to that because it's really just poison to your own soul. The other person could be moved on and forgave, and forgave already and is just out enjoying their life. And you could be sitting sulking and like, eh, I'm not going to forgive them. But that you for, forgiveness is a timing thing. So everybody should do it when they're ready. But um, definitely should work on doing that. If you're the type that's like, nope. You might regret it, okay? But there is someone here who feels remorse for the way they treated you. All right? So, you know, listen. Totally understandable if somebody is continuously treating you badly, like nonstop, okay? There's something wrong there. There's something going on there, and you should protect yourself from that, right? It goes both ways. Um, you got to protect yourself. That's why the boundaries are there. It's really important. You got to stand up for yourself, and not be a people pleaser um, or not try to change anybody, okay? Um, but some relationships, they're so toxic that they just got to be released. Others, some people just have trouble communicating. Sometimes that's all it takes. But, you know, whatever. I'm not a, I'm not a psychologist, so I don't have the answer. I just feel like this is the message that's coming through. All right, you guys, so let's get into the zodiacs so we can see how each zodiac feels about you, what their thoughts and feelings are specifically. Okay. 
the person that you're dealing with or whomever. I mean, I know some people who listen, okay, they listen for one sign for a lover. They listen for another sign. It's their friend that they're having a struggle with. They're listening for another sign of something about their child or, you know, their neighbor or whatever. All right, so we're going to start with Aries. What's Aries' energy towards you? Okay, Aries is definitely bottling everything up. They're not letting anybody in, especially you. They're being also very self-protective and a little bit miserly. Okay, they're not sharing their gold coins at this time. Okay, um, in August anyway. But at the same time, I also feel like this person longs for long-term security and they're not going to give up on you. So there is a little bit of possessiveness there. Okay. Taurus, wow. So Taurus got the tower. So I feel like Taurus is like really shook or, or is going to be very shook um, about you in August. Like de almost devastated. There is an energy here with the tower where I feel like this person is just, there's something shocking. Like they can't believe it. They can't believe you did something or said something. Um, Taurus feels kind of ruined <laughs> right now. Like, they don't know if they're going to recover. It just hit them out of the blue. Something hit them out of the blue and tore their the roof off the, their head. Their, like, their head exploded or something. Um, I feel like it's just they didn't expect something here. So you shook them up. You definitely shook them up. Okay, Gemini. Hmm, Gemini's weighing things out right now when it comes to you. They're trying to figure out what to do. The Gemini's trying to stabilize. Um, they're trying to make a decision right now, but they're not trying to let their emotions get the best of them. They're trying to be very logical about a decision they're making when it comes to you and your relationship. Okay. So um, there's also an energy of like, they're thinking, okay, they just said they're thinking like, if I do this, like the old what comes around goes around. If I do this, or what goes around comes around, they're being very careful in their decision making in regards to you in August. Okay, so Cancer. Cancer is like, good day sunshine. Cancer is very positive. Cancer has very positive feelings towards you. Um, it's yes. The answer is yes. If you're waiting for an answer from Cancer, they want to say, they're going to say yes. They're going to tell you the answer is yes, but it's a good yes. It, I feel like it's positive. It's, it's, it'll give have a positive effect on you. So if there's a question, if you're waiting to hear back from a cancer in any area um, or a response, um, they just keep giving me, um, it's going to be a yes. There's something that, I don't know, whatever the question is that you asked or you want to know, it's, it's, it's a good thing. So if you're like, oh, well, I want to know if they're with somebody else. Th this, it, that's not the answer. So change the question. <laughs> okay. Um, change the question, right? I always like to say the thing with tarot is it's not about the answer. It's about the question you're seeking. That's really what it's about, right? So ask yourself the good question. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just feel like cancer wants to tell you yes they're very happy they're very positive about it um they're very joyous and they look for a joyous outcome with you okay so wow leo um leo's like you're dreamy leo thinks you're extremely dreamy there's something about you that they just think you're very healing, like you have some kind of healing energy about you, very watery. There's some, you have a connection to water. Um, and they they like that fluid, dreamy, sweet, they, they want to go to a beach with you or sit on the beach with you. They want to see you on the beach. <laughs> I don't know if that means like what, in your swim stuff. I don't know, but they... They just think you're very dreamy and very intuitive and are just very attracted to you. Okay, Virgo thinks that you're spicy. Yes, Virgo thinks you're bold, powerful, charming, courageous, you're feisty. Virgo views you as being very self-assured, confident, 
yes they love your energy they like your they view you as having very positive energy and they just they're very drawn to you and they feel like you light up their life they they like uh, the fiery they feel like you're fiery like you're fiery and hot maybe you're a fire sign you have fire in your chart there's something about you they think you're fiery hot and also with the kitty cat um they like your kitty <laughs> if you have a kitty you know what i mean but they're also very um i think you're very intuitive okay libra libra's ready to um make some kind of transformation or like go the distance with you in august um and they're ready to come out of their comfort zone with you and they hope that you will as well libra wants you to um make some kind of change relocate or move in together they're 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 seeking that okay um and they'll come to you or or, or they want you to come back i'm hearing they want you to come back they'll they'll send a car <laughs> is what i'm hearing they want to see you again they're um they just want to see you again and if they have to go the distance to see you they will okay um i'm also seeing someone that's wearing a mask um not like a like a personality mask but like um you know like a the masks we wore during covid right what the hell are they called surgical mask okay There's, i don't know what that's about but i'm just seeing a mask maybe it's the last time you saw each other okay so scorpio scorpio thinks that you are i feel like you got this last time scorpio scorpio views you as very um reliable um patient a hard worker resourceful domesticated <laughs> a leader a wise investor scorpio views you as very down to earth very work oriented um they're giving me a lot of green energy like very serious and solid as a rock scorpio views you that way okay um and very good with money or very smart with money i'm just picking up like you're very earthen to them and actually I've, there's a lot of roses in this and i feel like scorpio really does have true love for you okay true love but they like your business side like the business side about you. they're very attracted to that it's like very you're very grounded grounded energy um okay sagittarius oh wow sagittarius wants a new love start with you wants a new love beginning the blessing sag wants a new baby new relationship wants to propose marry you wants to heal something sagittarius needs this healing um they pray for you they hope you pray for them um their cup runs over runs over from you like i mean they just they're full of emotion you're like a blessing to them that's how they feel okay and capricorn Ooh, Capricorn. They think you're competing with them. They think you're competing with them or that you're just very competitive. Like you're you like to get in the game. <laughs> Actually, they're like kind of impressed because like you're out there slaying dragons. Like they notice this about you. Okay. Capricorn thinks that you are like you have no fear to get in the ring with anybody and 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 you're also but they also think that you're a team player as well like you're not all about yourself you know what i mean but they but they feel like you're the type of person who despite any uncertainty and not knowing how things are going to turn out you're not afraid to get in there and and overcome challenges and obstacles you have like a sporty way about you like you're fearless you have you have a fearless drive and they really really um also feel like they have to compete for your attention okay capricorn thinks somewhere in their mind that you have a lot of they have a lot of competition <laughs> because you're just amazing i mean i don't maybe you don't have any comp you know they don't have any competition but it they think that okay so aquarius oh okay now why does that ring in a bell aquarius 
They feel left out in the cold. They're feeling pretty abandoned. They're not doing so great. Aquarius is really having a hard time in regards to you. Um, again, more uncertainty. They're not sure. Uh, they're worried about you. Very worried. Okay? They, they feel like you're out there by yourself in the world. Or they don't want you to be. Right? They, they kind of feel like their world is cold without you. They miss you. They long for you, but they're worried. They worry about your health. They're worried how you're doing in money. Um, or they're worried that you're going to be isolated or something. Yeah. The, the, the Aquarius, they feel they need to connect with you. They want to connect with you because they're very worried about you. Okay. Whew. That felt heavy. I felt a little bit of like, you know, that heaviness in your chest. I'm not having a heart attack. It's not cardiac arrest. It's just a heaviness. I feel that from them. Where's the Pisces? Show Pisces. Oh, Pisces wants to have that forever and ever with you. Pisces wants the grandparents, the new babies, the doggy, the happy couple. They, they want the house, the farm. Um, they want to leave a legacy. They want to work with you. And Pisces sees a future with you, like a solid future with you. Like Pisces sees themselves retiring with you. Pisces is also, um, you're going to be part of an inheritance that they're going to leave. Um, there's money being left for you for something. I don't know what that means. Um, are they going to give you some money from some kind of inheritance that they have or a 401k? I don't know. But there's definitely uh, an attachment to money here with this person, with this Pisces. And something's going to be left for you as well. Or they, they want to build something to leave something behind, right? Okay. Interesting messages. Going to leave that there. Remember, that's for the month of August. I hope you got something out of that. Um, click the link below if you want to get a personal reading with me. If not, I will see you back here very soon. Love you guys. Bye. Take care. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like too.